Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very special episode of Wine Library TV. I'm your host, Gary Vaynerchuk. And with me today is, in my mind, the number one winemaker in all of California, Philippe Belka. I'm sure you're very familiar with a lot of the wines that he makes. I've been a long-time fan, and I met Philippe a lo pretty long time ago at this point. It's yeah. maybe five or six years ago on a trip to California with also with one of my favorite people in the industry. Um, <laughs> but basically, basically, this is a very special episode because we really do have arguably one of the top ten winemakers in the world, let alone California, and he's working on this very new project. I've never had these wines. Last year I was in California and I heard about these, so I'm very honored to be able to taste them. I'm not even sure if they're released yet, Philippe will fill us in. But yeah. without further ado, yeah. I want to welcome yeah. Philippe Malcolm. Yeah. Thanks for being here. S thank you, Gary. I appreciate all your comments. Uh, they're very sweet, and thank you. I'm very happy, actually, to be uh, at your store. I heard so many good things. Uh, Thank about it's from you in California. It's my first time here. I'm a good today. promoter. I told them all sorts of great things about and this. Story. So, anyway, it's a very impressive thing. So, today, uh, also, I'm very proud to, to present this uh, new project, this first release of those two wines. And uh, the quick story is um, uh, in 2003, when Don Corano asked me to uh, create uh, those wines, I was surprised because obviously knowing Ferry Carano being a, a fairly large winery and knowing a little bit more my uh, specialization of very small brand and, and high-end brand I didn't know that Don has this uh, vision uh, for his company about creating something new and so when um, I discovered the site as you know uh, that's really my first focus is discovering the site and trying to get a sense of the quality I was amazed by the beauty first uh, of the site, which is located, you know, uh, next to uh, Hillsburg or in Alexander Valley, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's really a hillside uh, a vineyard, which also I'm specialized to work sure. for. Uh, so when done uh, again, and I saw the site, I was very excited to to be a part of this project, and um, we hire a wonderful uh, young winemaker, also Aaron Porter, who really. Uh, I've been knowing for years mm -hmm. and I think we put a wonderful team together so we have the team or winemaking team we have also a great uh, vineyard manager Steve uh, to to be a part of this event so we had put all the elements together to create this great wine well so great I mean so what we're going to be tasting is are we going to be tasting the west face so we're tasting the west face so we okay. what we've done is we created those two wines prevail 2003 west face and the West Face, um, uh, the West Face, uh, it's basically a wine uh, done on those two hillside wonderful vineyard. One is called Rock Rise, where is located the Prevail Winery, mm -hmm. and the other one uh, is called Lookout. Actually, they just changed the name, so so it was a little tough for me <laughs> to remember, but I think I said it correctly. And they are both hillside. So tell me about, is this a blend? What's the, what's so the Exactly, so the, the, the West Face, basically, it's a blend Cabernet Syrah. The Cabernet come from uh, Rock Rise, and the Syrah come from uh, Lookout. Do you know the percentage breakdown? And uh, in 2003, it was really 80% to 20% Syrah. Mm -hmm. And the focus, we feel like, you know, knowing it was the first year, knowing the vineyard will probably go in a direction of 50-50 almost. Really? Um, west facing wine, just simply because most of the blocks are located, uh, you know, facing west. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's the story, and the the, the goal was really to to uh, create uh, uh, wines with a really kind of um, very modern spirit and a little bit more California, mm -hmm. if you like, that the other brand, uh, where the Sierra bring a lot of spice, where the Cabernet brings the structure. Let's try. That's it. the story. So let's, let's try, try this wine. Is that it, or is it to the, cause no, it's to the right? Right? Yeah, we we on the right side. Saved you. Yeah. <laughs> you thank you for this one. So, can we spit here, or do mm -hmm. we have to uh, to swallow? I tend to spit. It's very controversial with the viewers, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, on first glance at this wine, obviously it's extremely big. There's a lot of tannin on the mid palate and the finish, but there's an awful lot of fruit coming through. But it, it, it's got a, a tremendous complexity of dark fruit, which is really fabulous. So coming from 2003, you know, incredible vintage already saying, but uh, that's pretty much the, the wine is um, really food driven, if mm -hmm. you like. 
where the key was to uh, and for me, uh, you know, as you might know, uh, I don't have any project in Alexander Valley. So right. the, the, the idea was really to um, bring a little bit of Napa Valley mind. As you know, Sonoma and Napa has this mm -hmm. kind of, you know, interaction, conflict sure. and different kind of fruit. A little bit more Napa mind into, no uh, into the project. And, and that's the idea. I think anybody, you know, on, on a high level of blind tasting would consider this more of a Napa driven wine. Yeah. No question. And, and I see that too. That's, that's great. Okay. I mean, you know, we're talking about wines, that first wine, you're talking about wines, there's just really no doubt in my mind that these wines are going to, for all the people that are looking for scores, you're talking about a 93 to 96 point type scored wine on that wine for me for sure. Now, I'm not sure if you know this, but somebody maybe in the crowd can help us. What is, this, <laughs> what is the suggested retail of the West Face? I think we are going to ask a little bit of help. Uh, talking about case production, uh, uh, we had uh, about 3,000 cases right now, so a small, really, uh, case quantity for... 3,000 six packs or 3,000 12 packs? 3,000 12 packs. Small, okay. Small, and, and I think we're driven to, to uh, increase that to maybe 6,000, uh, you know, five to 6,000 uh, uh, in the next few years. Uh, that's really the direction we want mm -hmm. to have. Uh, retail uh, retail price. Uh, so it's you, about a seventy-five dollar suggested yeah. retail uh, on, on the west. Oh no, that's um, no, that's, no, that's yeah. about that's, that's about, about fifty. 50, 50 yeah. uh, wow, that's actually about half of west, what I yeah. thought. Yes, that's I mean uh, that's a good part of this company. You know, no very uh, uh, price driven, uh, great. Uh, the market has obviously good, yeah. changed. I think everybody's noticed it now. The two thousand five Bordeaux's are trying to rechange the market with their yeah. pricing, oh. but I think it's the price. Oh, yeah. it's it's just been amazing, but. The, the reaction is now, we're starting to hit some limits, and I think a lot more of our consumers are looking for those great 40 to $70 wines instead of really looking for those $150 wines. And obviously, with the pedigree of the winery and the winemaking team, and, you know, this is just a remarkable value in, in the scheme of things for California. I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. Thank I thought you, this was a lot more. Thank you. All right, and, let's talk about the uh, back 40. So, back 40, um, we basically, what we've done with back 40, is, uh, is something a little different in a sense where we really selected the best block, the best uh, different blocks we have located on one vineyard only, uh, where is located the Prevail Winery, and that's all those blocks are on the back side of the of the of the vineyard if, if you like. That's that's the name uh, Back Forty, but mm -hmm. that's where you're coming from. So it's really uh, you know a selection of all the best it's a blocks acre that we could. It's a forty acres estate and. Uh, what we, we've done is we wanted to create something uh, very site specific. As you know, it's really my specialization. No question. And, and wanted to maybe bring, uh, if you like, it's sometimes maybe not the right word, but a little bit more French spirit mm -hmm. into this, uh, this wine. Um, the fermentation also is different. We use only uh, wooden uh, vats to that, so something a little bit more traditional. Uh, of course, French shock. And the wine here, it's 2003, it's, it's, it's a little bit uh, uh, maybe difficult for the consumer to understand because the blend is actually very similar to West Face. What is the blend? But the blend is really, uh, you know, a little bit more like closer to 90% Cabernet with some Syrah and a little bit of Cabernet Cap Franc. Franc. So, you get but the, nose. the focus, and we feel like, especially with uh, making 2004 and 2005 vintages, uh, we're going to go toward 100% Cabernet wines. On the back uh, On see. the back 40. And that's where so some of the Syrah will go into the West. Exactly. That's really the direction, you know, the that future director. Small production also, smaller production. What's the production? Um, uh, in 03 was uh, uh, in a 1500, a little bit more, but I think we're going to stay in a thousand to fifteen hundred depending on the vintage. There's gonna be the, large the, battles with restaurants and other stores around the country for these wines. <laughs> <laughs> so cheers, let's uh, try this. Right. Sure. Big nose. So you know very uh, very the different a little, bit, nose, you know? a little bit more sophisticated, mm -hmm. maybe a little darker fruit yeah. also uh, still there. Mm. I mean completely coach your palate. These are the kind of wines that our consumers are really looking for because not only are you getting complexity and a wine, <coughs> I mean, me. fully, tell me if I'm wrong, this is an easy 10 to 15 years in the cellar wine. This Maybe even more, easy, right? You know, so you get... The structure is just you, amazing. You get the huge structure there and, and definitely if the people wants to drink this wine, they will have to decant it. No question. You know the story, at least, you know, we three know the story hours, even more, more, mm -hmm. uh, uh, 
if they have to drink it right now. But we, we will sell it. I will tell you, so though, sick. growing up on a, on a uh -huh. young palate, and really most mm -hmm. Americans at this point, we drink wine so young mm -hmm. that, you know, most people have, you know, what I consider a young palate. There's so much fruit in this wine that it's not offensive to drink it. This, I mean, it's just loaded. It's just absolutely loaded. And, again, these wines have not been open that long against going against the grain that I've been preaching. But the reality is, is that it's got so much flavor and so much fruit that it overpowers the tannins, even though it's there. You're looking at a wine that is drinkable now. I call these wines double bubbles, you know, wines that you can drink mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. but if you put away for 15 years, Absolutely. are going to show even more. And you know, I don't know what time is it, it's you know, 11 o'clock, what we have to see with food, of course, sure. as you know the story, uh, the wine will, will, will have a feel of, uh, you know, smoother, no softer, more elegant, more harmonious even with food, so it's definitely some people can, can have it. Now. Really for me, this is, you know, what Wine Library TV is all about. We're trying to always bring value. This is a, a winery and a wine that, you know, a lot of people don't even know about yet. We're, we're kind of breaking the news, we hope. But this is something to look out for, especially, and I'll be honest, I didn't had no clue. I thought they were going to be over $100 wines. I think that's what we thought when we were out in California. So to find out the pricing sure. and the quality at this price range, this is something to watch out for. Philippe, I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much, Gary. We'll see you next that. time on Wine Thank Library you. TV.